I already talked about that big Waffle House fight. But I did not know that she was blacklisted from Waffle Houses. That's fucked up. In fact, she should have been promoted to, like, Waffle House head of security or something. Did she really get blacklisted? Former Waffle House worker says she was blacklisted after viral after viral brawl. Never worked for I was blacklisted. So it was kind of like I can't ever work for Waffle House again. I tried working for another one um like sometime earlier this year and I had found out that I was blacklisted. That's so fucked up. After a successful parry like that? Man, Waffle House is so dumb for that. She's She should honestly have been promoted. She could have been the face of their marketing campaign. Like, yeah, we know we have a reputation for fights breaking out, but now we have our own Batwoman. And then it's just like her parrying chairs or something. They could have really leaned into it. Fucking stupid L Waffle House, man. Jesus. I don't know how they couldn't see this easy slam dunk for PR. Look at the video where they added John Cena throwing the chair. Yeah, I saw that on Twitter. What was she, what was she supposed to do? Just let it hit her in the face? I, I think I don't think she was blacklisted for parrying the chair. I think she got blacklisted because it might be company policy that when a fight breaks out and you're like participating, you get fired. I don't think it was necessarily this successful parry. I, I don't think it would matter if she got hit in the face with it or not. She threw the salt shaker. Oh, was she the one that threw the salt shaker? Okay, then that was probably it. Even still, though, that th this whole brawl isn't her fault. Plus, God, you, you had a you had a hero. For a brief moment, Waffle House looked really cool with her at the helm. Oh no, you always have to start with the script. Maybe that would be an interesting topic at some point, Webby. Going over the process of making God slap. That's a good idea. Won't be tonight though, but that is a decent idea, I think. See the Demon Slayer Swordsmith village poster? No, I don't think so. If you want a bad ad brand, UK called JML. What? What are you talking about? Thanks to the resub, bruh. What, what, what do you, what, what the fuck is this? A bad brand ad? Sham Wow from JML, footsie blanket from JML. This is just like as seen on TV products. Keeping snug under a blanket should be easy. But no matter how big the blanket, your poor feet always... Yeah, what, why did you want me to see this? This is just as seen on TV, but British dub. Oh, JML's the station? Oh, well, that makes sense then. Because this is just standard as seen on TV products. They even have hot hands. They got them all. Exit tier one spy. Waffle House fight tier list. Is there enough for like a good tier list? If they fire everyone who gets in fights at Waffle House, how are they still finding so many employees? Yeah, good point. The turnover rate of employees at Waffle House has to be unreal. If you're getting fired for fights, like you're going to be going through new employees once a week. What are the G well, I already said I'd, I might try Simpsons Hit and Run at some point. I just don't know it. I haven't practiced the route or really seen it fully. Thanks to the resub, Papa Cat. Have you seen the video that came out about YouTuber harasses homeless for views? 
I, I think so. That sounds really familiar. I don't know if it was this video, but I saw someone talking about this guy Phidias before. But not for not for the homeless stuff. Phidias was the guy who uh, he made that video going to the poorest place in the world and he was just using their poverty as props. And he was also the guy who recently waited 65 days outside in the cold to give Elon Musk a hug. There's the primes rad. Oh shit, I remember that guy? Yeah, because he got dunked on by everyone for that uh, poorest place in the world video. I wonder, is he shameless enough to have kept it up? I spent a hundred hours in the world's poorest country. He changed the thumbnail. This was the original thumbnail. Yeah, he was very much on like that pseudo mr beast kind of content idea but very misguided did he get the hug no actually after 65 days of waiting to give you know what why don't i just show you we're right here anyway yeah i think this is the one oh yeah i forgot that, that he was like it's my fault i was so disrespectful that's why he didn't give me a hug the bodyguard of Elon Musk came and he said to me, come, we're going to do the hug now. And on the way that we were going upstairs, he said, you are going to have only your phone and you're going to only take a picture. And I said to him, no, I want to take a 10 second Hardball. video of me hugging him. Smart. And he said, no, you're going to take only a picture. And I was like, man, I've been here for 65 days for just this video, please. He was like, no. And he went upstairs in the building and probably- Such a good video Elon. idea Note too. that it was 2 a.m. and Elon was tired after a whole day of meetings. And then he came down and told me, he's not going to hug you tonight. <laughs> Now I feel stupid, but now I think True. that was a mistake because he's so busy with all this stuff and he accepted for me to go and take a photo with him. And I wanted <laughs> This more. is heartbreaking. I'm sorry if I was disrespectful. I'm 22 years old. I'm making mistakes and I'm trying to learn from my mistakes and improve. The it's all right. Well, you, your heart was in the right place. Waiting 65 days to film a hug with Elon Musk for clout to milk it for views. You had a genuine heart. Damn it. Thanks, resub Graham and the bits balls. And the resub Luke Brad and tier one log. Is he really 22? I have no idea. I will say, I don't think he's 22. That second video is so sad. Well, I mean, it's. Yeah, it's, it's bad. That's why I got dunked on so hard. But he did keep the video up. He, he didn't shy away.